Hi there, in the workshop this week I'm taking a look at three of the best portable jointing systems that money can buy. Festool's Domino 500, the Lamello Zeta P2 and finally I get my hands on Maffel's Duo Dowel of the DDF40. That's all coming up next. And uh, welcome back, or welcome if you're new here. Uh, if you are new here, uh, on this channel we do oh, uh, client work, practical tips uh, around the workshop. Uh, and also some product and tool comparisons like this one. I'm not going to try and tell you which of these tools is best. That's not what we're here for. Uh, most of my work is, uh, I am a cabinet, carpenter and cabinet maker, and most of my work over the last 10 years or so has been cabinet making. And I'm a long-term Festool Domino user. This is the Domino that I bought uh, almost 11 years ago now, and I have done a couple of videos on this uh, already. Uh, it, I called it a, an enabling tool in that it enabled me to do work to a standard and in a volume that I would never have been able to do otherwise. It is a remarkably flexible tool and I, I've also called it essentially a free tool because I would be astonished if I couldn't sell this today for what I paid for it 11 years ago. Uh, however, no tool is perfect, no one tool is perfect. And I started looking around about 18 months or so ago for another jointing system to complement that. I was particularly looking for something that would deal with knockdown fixings particularly well. Um, around about a year ago, in fact almost exactly a year ago, the uh, new Maffel Dowler came out, the DDF40, and I had a great demo of this at a local tool show uh, from one of the guys at Maffel. Uh, Jens, who I think was very instrumental in the development of this machine, and it ticked an awful lot of the boxes. I very nearly bought one on the spot, but didn't, and having thought about it a little bit and played with some of the knockdown fittings that I was thinking of using, I decided against this, uh, not because there's anything wrong with this tool, I think it's amazing, but because it, because of the reasons, because of how I wanted to use it. That's the best way of putting it. I ended up uh, stumping up a bit more extra money for Lamello Zeta P2, and I've been using this for the last six months or so, and it's it's mostly doing really, really well. The uh, Lamello Climax connectors, the knockdown connectors, are particularly good. I'm very impressed with those. Uh, I, again, I've done videos on both of these. There's links down in the video description uh, below. Uh, but the Dowler is the new tool. Uh, this is not mine. The I do own the Lamello and the Domino. I bought those with my own money. Uh, the nice people at Maffel UK have very kindly uh, lent me this. This is a demo machine, and I want to thank the uh, guys at Maffel UK uh, for that. Also, uh, Alan Harrison at ProTrade was very instrumental in me getting hold of this for, for this length of time. Uh, so thank you to Alan. Uh, it was Alan and ProTrade that I got my Lamello from, and there are links down in the video description as well. Now, as I said earlier, I've done videos on the Domino and the Lamello before, so I'll be concentrating a little bit more on the Dowler in this slightly longer video. Uh, the machines, let's talk money to start with. The machines range in price from the cheapest, which is the Festool, don't get to say that very often, at around about £750 uh, to just shy of about £1,000 for the Maffel to around £1,200 for the Lamello. These are all street prices, including VAT. Uh, as far as the consumables go, my standard 5 by 30 mil domino like this are about four pence each. The regular Lamello Tenso fittings are around 70 pence per set, 7-0. Uh, and regular 8 by 30 mil dowels, you can pick those up for about a penny each. Now these three machines all perform the same basic function, joining two pieces of wood together, but they do it in quite different ways. The domino acts as a horizontal router that not only spins a bit round, it waggles it from side to side to cut slots for loose or floating tenons, ranging in size from 4 by 20 millimetres all the way up to 10 by 50 millimetres long. The loose tenons or floating tenons look like this hence the name Domino. The Domino also offers three widths of slot. You can vary the degree of waggle, and that allows for some wiggle room during the glue-up. The Lamello is much more like a biscuit jointer, but through a combination of clever engineering and a special blade, it cuts a curved T-slot for proprietary plastic fittings like these Tenso connectors. Maffel's Duo Dowler, as the name suggests, drills a pair of holes at 32mm centres and uses off-the-shelf dowels, making it far and away the cheapest in terms of consumables. The dowler bits can be changed from anything as skinny as 3mm all the way up to 12mm, 
and combining that with a 40 mil plunge, you end up with a machine that's a contender for some light joinery work, not just for cabinetry. In terms of layout, all three machines follow the same basic path with an elongated body housing the motor, with switch gear on top, power cable to the rear, and dust collection port at one side. Sat on their base, each machine will put a slot or holes at 10mm centres up from the base, and each machine can also be used for perpendicular plungers, for example to put a fixed shelf in the middle of a carcass. The fence arrangement is broadly similar overall, and each machine has a drop-down fence with click stops in the usual places. On the Festool and the Maffel, the fence is height adjustable, and both come with height presets for common material thicknesses. On the Lamello though, the drop-down fence is fixed, and height adjustment comes from an auxiliary fence that slides in place and locks smoothly. You don't get any presets with this one though. In use, all three machines can be aligned against pencil marks, but the Festool and Maffel have sprung pins or paddles that let you register off the side of a workpiece without measuring or marking. The Lamello lacks this feature, but in practice it's easy enough to simply align the side of the fence against the edge of the workpiece. So what does the Dowler do now that it couldn't do before? Well, as well as the perpendicular plunge for shelf pinholes, it also has two presets for the depth of plunge. For example, if you're using a 40mm dowel with 18mm boards, you'll need a 15mm plunge into the face of the board and 25mm into the end. You can now simply set them up as presets on the Dowler and switch between them as you need them. It also has a couple of nice accessories as well for offsetting the distance from the edge of the board. For example, if you want to have a run of shelves that are inset or set back from the front edge of a carcass, you can allow for that easily as you drill the dowels for them. Uh, and you can also put dowels into narrow stock now as well. You do have to take off one of the bits and put on a special adapter for this, but at least you can actually do that now. All right, I want to do a little piece uh, about changing the bits on these, changing the cutters because it's one of the sort of things that you have to do. Uh, I realised I've got no idea how to change the cutter on the, on the lamello, and uh, I don't have anything to change it to either. It's got a diamond bit on there, a diamond cutter, so it'll probably outlive me for the amount of use it gets. So we'll leave the lamello out of the equation for now, and we'll just do the dowler and the domino. Let's do the dowler first. Uh, very easy, very straightforward. A little switch on the side here, you switch that to the bit change position, and then you give it a plunge. That automatically locks out the power switch, by the way, so it won't switch on. Then you flip the whole thing over and rotate the bits until the little grub screws show. Then you use the supplied Allen key just to loosen those off. And slide out the two bits that are in there. The bits have a flat on them so you can't get them in the wrong way around or anything and they just feed in all the way in then tighten them up again let it back over and then just release the catch and you're good to go now when it comes to the domino it's fairly straightforward again, you need a spanner. Uh, you do get one with the kit, I didn't actually get one with mine for some reason, possibly because I brought a, an X demonstrator but you just flip that up, this whole section pulls away from the fence, nice and smooth. There's a little spindle lock here on the side, you take the spanner around the bit and you just unscrew it. That's all there is to it. Take the bit, replace it, put it on finger tight with the spindle lock on, and then you can just nip that up tight. And the whole thing just slides back on and locks in place just as it was before. Okay, so for this one what we've got to do is we've got uh, boards that are cut from the, literally the same boards, so the same width. Uh, we're just going to make an L sort of join like this, so as if it was the side of a cabinet carcass and the base. 
Uh, so obviously we need to be mindful of which reference, which side we're referencing off. So let's start with the domino. Pop a clamp on that. I'm going to put two dominoes on this face, just to go uh, on this edge, excuse me, and then we'll do the face ones all together afterwards. So that's that. No measuring to do, just referencing off the off the pins. The later ones have paddles, uh, and that's that's all there is to it. So next up, we'll use the doweler. No pins or paddles to reference from with this, so we'll just line up the edge of the fence with the edge of the board. So these are the three sort of mortises that these machines produce. You can see the classic sort of domino slot at the top here, relatively narrow. It's a 5 by 30 mil domino. Uh, and then we've got the uh, twin 8mm holes from the Dowler, and at the bottom here we've got the T-slot from the Lamello. When it comes to putting fixings in the face of the board, all three machines need a little extra support as obviously as they're set up they only have half the thickness of the board available. Festel's answer is this slightly janky looking plastic base support bracket which despite its looks actually does a decent job even if it is quite hard to hold. The Mathel bracket on the other hand is a really nice workmanlike extrusion that does an excellent job and proves comfortable to use. And the Lamello has a very well engineered and machined angle bracket that locks smoothly into place. So for the domino, we've got two 5 by 30 mil dominoes going into the end of the board on a narrow setting. And these go in these face boards and you've got a little bit of lateral movement there you see that you can actually slide them side to side by a couple of mil that's really useful to have uh, again very nice and flush along the edge as you would expect for you know well engineered tools at this kind of price point a nice clean simple finish dab of glue and a couple of clamps on there or maybe a couple of screws if these faces are hidden and you've got a carcass just about ready to go so next up we've got our dowels, standard 8mm by 30mm dowels, you get these just about anywhere, the bag of these is a few pounds which is one of the big pluses uh, of the doweler of course is that you know, absolutely industry standard dowels and knockdown fittings, and there we are. Absolutely perfectly flush, as you would imagine, uh, and absolutely spot on in terms of accuracy. And then finally, we've got our lamello. So we're going to have this is where they just sort of slide into this little T slot. It's so clever. So are these just slotted in. And it's just a question of lining them up and giving them a sharp tap. As I say, there's a half a mil or so of wiggle room with these. That's that. Nice and flush. 
nicely jointed together. And I think I'll wrap this up for now. Uh, I think we've probably spent long enough on these three machines. As wonderful as they are, Festel's Domino, just under £800 list price, the new Maffel DDF40, newish, uh, around about £1,000, and Lamello's Zeta P2, around about the 1160 1180 £1,200 mark. Three of the best portable jointing systems that you can buy, no question. Um, the upgrades to the Maffel, the DDF40, have really changed it. They've made it a real contender, I think. Uh, there were too many niggles with it originally, and I know a lot of the guys that I knew who had the original Dewar Dowler also had a Domino as well to try and take care of those uh, discrepancies. Uh, this new one is a terrific machine. It really is great. They're all superbly made, as you would expect at this kind of price point. The changes that have been made to the Mafel uh, are just make it altogether a much better machine. Um, got an awful lot going for it, ticks an awful lot of boxes. Uh, 12 mil bits with a 40 mil plunge pushes it into the small joinery market. Uh, the fact that you can swap the bits out for 5 mil and the fact that the bits are 32 mil apart means you can use it for shelf pin holes without needing an expensive extra rail, just a little plastic dingus to reference off the last pins that you drilled. So a very good, very flexible and very versatile industry standard 8 mil dowels as well of course cheap as anything going forwards and even the knockdown fixings which i don't seem to have one of for some reason oops even the knockdown fixings are extremely reasonably priced uh, these were these particular ones we'll talk about these in a sec well so 40 or 50 pence depending on volume uh, all of this wonderfulness then may well beg the question with you well why didn't i buy it why did i spend even more money for even more expensive fittings and get the uh, get the lamello. Uh, in short, uh, I've been doing this a long time. I have no need for the bigger jointing possibilities that a 12 mil bit and a 40 mil um, plunge might create. Uh, I've got the shelf pin hole side of things completely covered. I've fully invested in a Festival LR32 system and uh, a router dedicated to that as well. So those are things that I don't really want. The whole point, the whole reason for me getting this uh, particular machine, get, getting investing in another system, was really all about the knockdown fixings. And these knockdown fixings are really good. Uh, these are made by Hayfully. Uh, the, I can't pronounce them. IX Connect, X Connect, Is Connect. IX Connect 60s, they're called. Little 8mm plastic dowels with an Allen key on one side. Pop an Allen key in, a hex key and give it a quarter turn and it kind of gets its elbows out and really grips the side of that uh, hole really tightly. Uh, the problem I have with them though is quite simple. Uh, I'm working with 18 mil boards almost all the time. Uh, you need a, because these are 60 mil long, you'll need a 15 mil hole in the face of the board and a 45 mil hole in the edge of the board, in the end of the board. And of course this little guy will only do a 40 mil plunge. Um, that's that's not great because if I'm spending this kind of money, almost a thousand pounds, to get a machine specifically to handle knockdown fixings, having to manually drill out every single hole with a drill and a bit doesn't seem like the best use of my time or money. So I opted to put a little bit of extra money in and accept the extra costs going forward to pick up the Lamello because then it's just a question of question of zhuf, zhuf quarter turn with an allen key and it's done and locked up tight. Uh, it's a shame because this is a really great machine and if you don't have those restrictions uh, on it then you know it's a fantastic machine that sits nicely between the other two in terms of price, capacity and consumables as well. Uh, you might find that a, a completely crazy idea uh, not to buy something, but that's my reasoning uh, and that's all I've got. Uh, I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up and uh, share it out amongst your friends freely. Don't forget as well to subscribe for more weekly workshop videos or even support the channel on Patreon as my Patreon supporters get extra exclusive access to additional content. And I want to say thank you very much indeed to all of my Patreon supporters because they do make a huge difference. Uh, also, thank you very much indeed to Maffel UK for letting me have this demo machine. And thanks again to Alan at ProTrade for getting involved and making sure that I had it for long enough to do a proper test with it. Uh, be sure to check out the blog post on the companion website at 10minuteworkshop.com for additional information. And if you're feeling spendy, then please do pay a visit to my Amazon store for links to the tools I use and recommend. But that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.